Just days ago, John Paul Miller and the family of his now deceased wife agreed upon a settlement between the two sides on current and all future lawsuits. This is on the civil side, but still, this was indeed a shocking turn of events, especially when John Paul Miller's attorney made this announcement after the agreed upon settlement. South Carolina criminal investigators have concluded their work of following up on the investigation done by Robinson County Sheriff's Office in this case with nothing new to report. At first listen, it also sounds that all criminal investigations have concluded, but he was intentional with his wording. Listen again. South Carolina criminal investigators have concluded their work of following up on the investigation done by Robinson County Sheriff's Office in this case with nothing new to report. Later in the press conference, he was challenged on that statement. Take a listen. Attorney Long, you referenced the state reviewing some of the Robeson County investigations. I also noticed that your statement conspicuously did not mention any potential federal investigation into Pastor Miller. Can you comment on the status of that federal investigation? Can you tell us which state agency reviewed the Robeson County investigation? I, I don't believe I indicated state or federal. I said South Carolina investigators. You can, can you tell us uh, who you were referring to when you were... I'm referring to whoever has investigated this case, state. federal and state. Yes, sir. So all, from your perspective, all criminal inquiries into John Paul Miller are concluded? We believe so. We have every reason to believe so. Um, we've asked uh, for definitive answers on that, and the answers and or lack of answers that we've received can only lead to that answer, that we, in fact, that they have, in fact, um, concluded their investigation. Somehow, Russell B. Long has come to the conclusion that there is no investigation, well, because the FBI won't answer his questions. But now take a listen to this. In an interview conducted the same day, Regina Ward, the attorney for Micah Miller and her family, says this in regards to a possible federal investigation. Let me ask you this question. What do you think happened that day? Well, of course, anything that I would think is speculation, and that is the million-dollar question. Um, I personally believe that that answer to that or some form of answer to that will be on that cell phone or that Apple Watch that is in the possession of the legal authorities. Um, and so we have a court order requiring those things to be released to my office, and they won't release it until they have finished their, quote, investigation. But not only that, I have confirmed that the FBI investigation is not only continuing, it may be growing. According to sources, the FBI may not only be looking into John Paul Miller, but they may be looking into as many as five individuals, the identities of those individuals and the role they play in this story is unknown. And there's this, I was able to confirm that the multiple alleged victims of John Paul Miller still plan on coming forward, and we can expect lawsuits at any time now. And I'm told that a criminal investigation in regards to the alleged allegations about to be announced against John Paul Miller is expected also. That's if such criminal investigation has not already been launched. So I wanna remind you like a bunch of people have been reminding me lately that I'm God's bride first. And even an earthly spouse, who's a good spouse, when they know that their bride is being hurt, just imagine what an earthly spouse does. What do you think your heavenly spouse does when you're the bride of Christ and he sees his bride going through abuse and hurt? What do you think he thinks about that? Yes, many were shocked by the sudden settlement between John Paul Miller and Micah's family. But now we have to question, what does the family know? And what's about to go down for John Paul Miller? As I have always said at the end of my videos regarding this story, the FBI continues their investigation.